In today's video, we're discussing important health issues that affect people living with HIV. From common co-infections to gastrointestinal problems, mental health challenges, and even cancers like Kaposi sarcoma, we'll cover everything you need to know. Let's dive in. Do people with HIV have other health conditions? It's common for people living with HIV to experience other health conditions. These can be directly related to the virus or its treatment, or completely unrelated, but still impacted by a weakened immune system. Managing these conditions often means more doctor visits, lab tests, and medications. The best way to stay healthy is by taking your HIV medication, also called antiretroviral therapy, or ART, as prescribed, and maintaining an undetectable viral load. This means the virus is so low in your blood that it can't be detected by standard tests. Common co-infections with HIV. Let's start by looking at some of the most common co-infections that affect people with HIV. These occur when someone has two or more infections at the same time. One, hepatitis B and hepatitis Hepatitis B and C are liver infections that can be spread similarly to HIV through sexual contact or injection drug use. In the US, about one third of people living with HIV are co-infected with hepatitis B or C. Left untreated, these infections can lead to serious liver problems, but treatments are available. Hepatitis B can be prevented with a vaccine, while hepatitis C can often be cured with a course of oral therapy 2. Tuberculosis Tuberculosis, or TB, is an infection that primarily affects the lungs but can impact other parts of the body. It's one of the leading causes of death worldwide for people living with hiv -L, and it's considered an AIDS-defining condition. If you have HIV, it's important to be tested for TB and start treatment right away if necessary. 3. Opportunistic Infections on ISO Opportunistic infections are infections that strike when the immune system is weakened, resulting in AIDS. These can include pneumonia, salmonella infection, candidiasis, and toxoplasmosis. People with HIV are especially vulnerable to OIS when their CD4 count drops below 200, which is why it's so important to stay on top of your HIV treatment. Other health conditions associated with HIV Thanks to advancements in treatment, people with HIV are living longer than ever before. But even when HIV is well controlled, there are still other health conditions that need attention. 1. Cardiovascular disease People living with HIV have a 5100 increased risk for cardiovascular disease, which includes heart attacks, strokes, and heart failure. Research has shown that taking medications like statins can reduce this risk. Staying on HIV treatment and getting regular checkups are also key to protecting your heart health. 2. Chronic inflammation Chronic inflammation is another issue for people with HIV. Even when the virus is undetectable, low levels of inflammation often persist, which can lead to other health conditions like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, kidney disease, and liver disease. It's important to work with your healthcare provider to monitor and manage these risks. 3. Mental health conditions Mental health is often overlooked, but it's a critical part of living well with HIV. Depression and anxiety are common in people living with HIV, often due to the stigma of the illness or the psychological toll it takes. HIV-related medical issues can also contribute to mental health challenges. If you're struggling with your mental health, it's important to seek support and treatment. 4. Substance use disorders Substance use disorders, such as alcohol or drug abuse, can further complicate the management of HIV. Not only can substance use make it harder to take medications as prescribed, but it can also put you at greater risk for other health issues. Treatment and behavioral health services are available, so don't hesitate to reach out for support. 5. Medication Side Effects While HIV medications have improved dramatically over the years, side effects can still occur. Some people experience short-term side effects like nausea, 
while others may face longer-term issues like an increased risk of heart or kidney disease. Always communicate with your healthcare provider if you experience any side effects so they can help you manage them or adjust your treatment if necessary. Six, gastrointestinal pie issues in people with HIV. Let's now discuss gastrointestinal, or GI, issues. Many people with HIV experience digestive problems, including diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. These issues can result from HIV itself, the medications used to treat it, or from opportunistic infections. These symptoms can make everyday life difficult and can sometimes lead to weight loss or dehydration. If you're experiencing any GI issues, it's crucial to let your healthcare provider know so they can recommend treatments or lifestyle changes to help manage them. 7. Kaposi sarcoma, a cancer linked to HIV? Now let's talk about Kaposi sarcoma. It is a type of cancer that's more common in people with HIV, particularly those with weakened immune systems. It's caused by the human herpes virus 8-HHAT and presents as purple, red, or brown spots on the skin or inside the mouth, but it can also affect internal organs like the lungs. Kaposi sarcoma is considered an AIDS-defining condition, and it often improves with HIV treatment. Other treatments like chemotherapy or radiation may also be needed depending on the severity. Staying on your HIV meds and keeping a close eye on your immune system is the best way to prevent or manage this cancer. 8. Hygie-Associated Neurocognitive Disorders, Hand Yandy. Another condition to be aware of is HIV-Associated Neurocognitive Disorders, or HAND. This can range from mild cognitive difficulties to more serious conditions like dementia. It affects memory, concentration, and even motor skills. While the exact cause isn't fully understood, it's believed that HIV itself, along with chronic inflammation, plays a role in damaging the brain over time. Managing hand involves staying on HIV treatment, and in some cases, additional therapies may be recommended by your healthcare provider. 9. Bone density loss and osteoporosis People living with HIV are also at an increased risk for bone density loss and osteoporosis. Over time, the virus, combined with certain medications, can weaken the bones, making fractures more likely. Your doctor can assess your bone health through regular screenings and may recommend supplements like calcium or vitamin D. Along with lifestyle changes such as weight-bearing exercise to keep your bones strong, living healthy with HIV. Living with HIV comes with its challenges, but with the right medical care and lifestyle choices, you can lead a healthy, fulfilling life. Remember, the most important thing you can do is stay on your HIV medication, see your healthcare provider regularly, and take care of any other health conditions you may have. By staying informed and proactive, you can manage both HIV and the associated health issues. Thank you for watching this episode of Health Awareness. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on HIV and other health topics. Stay healthy, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.